Hi, in this video we're going to have a quick look at this website Creator Test and we're going to use it to see how quickly we can create a test paper. As you can see I'm logged in as me over here and I'm under the Key Stage 3 GCSE area of the website. If I click on create a paper I've got two options I can either click on blank paper or quick test we'll go for blank paper and when I click on that I've got this part of the website over here that allows me to search for the questions that I would like. I'm going to choose algebra um, I can also restrict to the different exam boards and level to grades etc. I can choose whether it's going to be calculator or non-calculator over here I can choose whether I'm going to use the free questions available on the website or the super user questions available or the questions that I've happened to have built myself. Searching for the topics I can click on this part here and I can search for the topics that I want so the questions I want to create are going to be on simultaneous equations, proportionality, the quadratic formula and indices. So these are the topics that I want. I can now click on finish and when I, when I click on search questions that will bring up a list of all the questions that are in the criteria I just specified. Now I can go through and I can choose the questions that I want. So for example it may be that I want this question here. So I'm going to add that to my paper and I can go through and I might want that one as well so I can click on add paper what I could do is decide that I don't like this version of this question so I'm going to click on other variations and it gives me a different version so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose that version of this question here so I'm gonna add that one to my paper I'll take these questions here and I'll keep going and, and I just go through and I choose the questions that I want and add them to the paper as I go. Right, so once I've gone through, we'll, we'll just add a few more. Okay, and as I scroll down, the um, levels of the questions are going to increase. Right, we'll have that one, and let's find the quadratic formula one, which will be lower down. Oh, we'll have this proportion one. let's see a different variation of this question I love that etc right once I've got all the questions that I want I can now go back to the top and I'm going to click on next step okay so I now need to give it a title so I'm going to call this Ladak test 2 and I'm going to assign this to year 11s and click on next step okay and now I want to view my paper and it, what it will now do is decide how it can put this onto a PDF as you can see it's now created the paper for me so I can scroll down I can have a look at all the questions that are there there we go, and I, I also get an answer sheet with this, so uh, if I click on answer sheet, I've got that there, I've got a working out sheet as well that shows me how to get to all of those answers, and there's a part that's got grade boundaries as well, so it can work that out for you as well. Click back on paper, and it may be that I'm not happy about the order of the questions, I can still go back and edit in Paper Builder and then I can decide the order in which I want those questions so it may be that I want this question to come a little bit earlier for example so allow alterations and I can I can change the order of the questions so I can put them in um, the order that I want them I can also get the software to reorder the questions for me so I may want it to um, order it by levels ascending or by marks ascending etc 
I can also, if I wanted to, refresh all of the questions. So where you saw me individually refresh the questions earlier, I can just refresh all of my questions and it will give me a different version of all of the questions um, that I added earlier. I can then click on next step again and and it will recalculate everything and create a different test based on um, what I just put in. And there you go. Once I'm happy, I can just click on download paper over here and this will download this as a PDF file that I can now open up and I can print up. So, um, as you can see, we can create a test in, in, in just over five minutes. That took us just over five minutes. So, a really neat piece of software that I recommend that you go away and have a play with. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.